In this video, we're going to discuss how to service a portable toilet or a hand washing station or whatever item needs to be serviced by simply scanning the QR code using the QR code scanner app on your mobile device. Once your driver arrives on site, he needs to scan the QR code. I'm going to click QR code 1001, which represents a scan as if I did it in the field. After your driver logs in, these are going to be his two options we currently have. Um, just to recap in our first video, we had told the system whether or not we want to show the route ticket button or not. In this first example, a, um, a route ticket button is not being displayed. So yeah, your driver has two options, mark as picked up or service. I'm going to click on the service button. And here I can um, enter in a note. Your driver can let someone know in the office that maybe there was vandalism done to the unit. Once your driver documents that, you can click on complete service. And it's now safe to close this window. Um, when on the desktop software, if you were to go to um, sync mobile devices and sync route tickets, what will happen is a electronic copy or a record that your driver was there will show on the route ticket list. The note that vandalism was found will also be displayed. After the sync is done, we'll go to the route ticket list to view that ticket. Now we can go to route info, route ticket list. And you'll see here that Albert Cruz, um, this is the route ticket that the system automatically generated. He, we scanned the QR code at 1.24 p.m. So the system put that and capture that, that, that timestamp on this list. And we see a note that the driver found vandalism to the unit. If you wanted to, you can take action and click create task, and a task will open up to task another employee to go out and either replace the unit or somehow remove the vandalism that was done. The second way we can service the unit is once again, turning on the feature that says show route ticket button and I'll say yes to that. Now your driver's out in the field and he goes to scan the QR code. We'll say 1000. And now he has the option to create a route ticket. When we click that button, the system will take them to the app, our the custom brand uh, sorry, the our uh, our mobile app where your driver can then hit the arrival time. He can now put the phone down and he can go ahead and do his work. Once he's done, he can enter the departure time. He can even add notes here. Um, and if he's gonna add a comment or a note there, make sure they click save to save that note. They're not, we're not done with this route ticket, so we're gonna say no. But on top of that, your driver now has the ability to document some of these group fields. Um, you'll find that we have other, other uh, videos on how to customize these group um, fields on the route ticket, but the route ticket can be customized for your drivers to fill out certain um, data you want captured. Maybe there's a checklist you want them to fill out. Um, that they can they can do maybe this checklist one option can be uh, programmed to say um, uh, toilet paper restocked um, and whatever items you want them to remember to do per service um, so this this route ticket gives you more flexibility it gives you more documentation per stop but beyond that you can also add billable line items to the route ticket. Um, they can click add items and they can make this an invoice if they needed to. Additionally, your drivers can add pictures um, to the route ticket if needed. And once they're done, 
they can click the departure time. And if you're using cruise, you can update all crew time to match. And once they're done, they want to uh, scroll to the bottom, expand the footer, and mark this as completed. Your driver can now close the app, and go back to his QR code scanner app, or if he's following his route schedule, he can click back to the route schedule and continue on to his next stop. To bring that route ticket back to the desktop, once again, we're going to sync route ticket. Once that's done, we can go back to our route ticket list. And we see the actual route ticket that was filled out. Remember, the first route ticket that was created was just a simple route ticket that just got created and documented the time that it was created, 124 to 124. But the route ticket that was created, the one that the driver created, has an arrival time of 127 and a departure time of 128. It took them three minutes to complete the service. If you double click on the route ticket number or the order number, if your driver has filled out or checked off all of these options in the field on that route ticket, here is where you would see that he actually replaced the toilet paper and whatever other checklist option he needed to, to fill out or complete. If he had added line items, they would show up here as well. And if he took a picture, all you gotta do is click the view sign ticket button here and your browser window, window will open up and show you the uh, picture that your driver took. And those are the two different ways that the QR code system can capture and document services. Have a good one, everybody. Bye-bye.